do I have something great for you today? Just wait until you see <laughs> what, what some of these properties are selling for. Hey everyone, it's Liz. I am back to give you another golf cart tour, but this time I'm not on my golf cart and I am not in Henderson. In fact, I am not even in Nevada. I am in this small little town, maybe you've heard of it, um, a ritzy little beachfront town by the name of Malibu, California. So a friend of mine has a property that she is selling and I've come out here to help her pack up. But the interesting thing about her property is that she lives in the second most expensive trailer park in the United States, which of course is located in Malibu, California. So I thought that this would be a good kind of fun little video from the normal um, to show you what $2 million will buy you in Malibu. Now you've already seen my other videos of Lake Las Vegas, where I've been driving around doing the golf cart tour and giving you ballpark prices of what properties are selling for. You will be really, really shocked when I show you what some of these Malibu manufactured homes are selling for. I think it's just absolutely crazy. I know that my channel is about Henderson and Lake Las Vegas, but when I came across this piece of interesting information, oh my God, I just had to share it with you guys because I thought you might find it interesting um, just to see when you compare just how different the real estate can sell for, how wildly the prices vary depending on what part of the United States you're in. Now we all know that Southern California has outrageous prices, but do I have something great for you today? Just wait until you see <laughs> what, what some of these properties are selling for. And I really hope that you enjoy this information and you find it interesting. If so, give me a like and please consider subscribing to my channel as I am trying to grow my audience. Creeping around on all of these neighbors' homes. So, I hope that you enjoy this. But first, I wanted to show you something that I found really fascinating. And in these higher end manufactured home communities, when someone does a complete renovation or even a teardown, they will sometimes rebuild their new home in place. This is considered a stick built construction process, but to keep it legally classified as a manufactured home, in order to be placed in this park, the home must be built on top of a chassis. It cannot be affixed to the ground by sitting on a slab for example. Now I don't know about you but I'm used to seeing separate halves of, of a manufactured home being hauled in by truck but out here if they have the bucks they will build a custom one. And if you're wondering what a 1.9 million dollar manufactured home looks like in the second most expensive trailer park in the United States. I'm about to show you right now. So we are on the inside of my friend's home. She is in the process of moving. So some things you'll find are, are kind of moved around. Maybe things have to be clean still. So, um, you know, please keep that in mind as I'm giving you this brief tour of somebody else's home. <laughs> she did give me permission though, so I'll, I'll say that much. So as soon as you walk in, for those of you that are familiar with manufactured homes, you will see uh, that traditional style of the double wide here. So on this side would be one half of the double wide and you come over here and this is the other half of the double wide. Now along the top here, she has a skylight that goes all the way from one end all the way to this end here. Right now there are some shades or some blinds on there um, just to keep the midday sun out, but when these are open, the entire place is just illuminated with sunlight. And then you come over here and this is where, you know, that third part of a triple wide would be is this section right here. So 
Um, I should mention that her home is also one of those stick built homes. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, in the construction piece that we drove by, people are building it with the framing and the drywall and the roofing, just like a real home. The only difference is it's built on top of a chassis. So it's not connected to the ground like an actual stick built home would be like in Lake Las Vegas, for example, all of the new construction homes that you've seen in passing on my golf cart tours. So um, you come inside here and you would never even know that it was a manufactured home, probably if I hadn't have told you. I mean, at least just, just based on what the inside looks like. So let me show you a little bit more um, in the home and show you some special features that really just you don't see in traditional run-of-the-mill manufactured homes. Let's start right here with this fireplace wall. And on either side of the fireplace are these little coves, I guess you would call them, um, with these rocks that are inset here into the cement. And you can see that there is some sand down there. If you have cats, this would probably not be a good idea as I see it turning into a big, huge cat litter box. But very, very nice, beautiful features. And there we have some bamboo and this beautiful wall of windows here, or I should say beautiful wall of doors that open all the way up. But you look around and then we have our one resident here, which is Scrappy the dog. She doesn't feel like being on camera right now. And this is the kitchen. Again, like I said, she's in the process of packing up and moving, so just kind of ignore this mess here. And down this hallway here are the three bedrooms. We've got one bathroom. We've got two bedrooms on this side with another full bath. Straight ahead is a closet. And then the main bedroom is to the left, and that also has its full uh, bathroom suite in there as well, and then the laundry room in there. And right here in the main bedroom, one of the walls of the room is made completely of glass, and I don't know if this is a solarium or what you would call it, but you can see that it has some very unique and interesting tropical looking plants in there. There's also a statue. We have some lights down at the bottom and some nice river stone. And up at the top, it is not enclosed. So you can see right up to the sky. So this is something that I wanted to point out because it's a very unique feature that you would not expect to see in a manufactured home. And I'll show you the master shower really quick with this really interesting tile work where they created a design. And then this is cement, or a cement finish anyways. But, okay, enough about the inside of the home. Uh, yes, this is beautiful, and by the way, look at the beams on the ceiling. Now, the best part about this home, and it's gonna be very hard for me to show this beauty to you on camera, is when you walk outside and you see, okay, come on, I'll just show you, let's go. Here we have this absolutely gorgeous ocean view from the patio. It really is difficult to show this on a video and um, have the, the beautiful ocean breeze come across, the fact that it's probably in the low 70s right now, and in Henderson it's probably in the mid 90s, and the birds are chirping, you can hear the waves crashing,
Here is one view of the porch and you can see the homes in the distance there. Neighbor's house. And I'll zoom in on this if you can see it, but right over here you can see the white waves. And so if you're wondering why my friend would want to move since this place seems so beautiful and like such a dream house to have, well, there's a couple of reasons. Number one is that none of the homeowners here actually own the land that their home is sitting on. I mean, just like any other manufactured home park, I mean, think of the ones in Henderson and Vegas, wherever, Boulder City, there is a lot rent that is due by every person that's living here. So essentially you're renting the land, you're renting the space that your home is on. And for example, her lot rent here is $3,000 a month. Um, and it goes up every year by a small percentage. And also every time somebody sells their home, the next person gets an increase on the lot rent and um, you know it gets bumped up by a certain percentage and then every year their lot rent also goes up by a set amount. So basically you're paying rent on land that you're never going to own. So, you know, and at a cost of $3,000 a month, and especially if you're getting ready um, to retire or you're nearing retirement age, I mean, that is a fixed cost that a lot of people just really probably could do without or would prefer to do without. It's very expensive. I have heard of some of these manufactured homes, lot rents being as high as $6,000 per month. And the reason why is because it's a particular home that has sold frequently, um, you know, sold over and over and over again. And when something sells so quickly and often like that, that rent is jacked up every single time. And so you're looking at a $6,000 a month lot rent. <laughs> on property you will never own. To me, that is just crazy. Um, you know, that, that just boggles my mind. I mean, even at a $3,000 a month lot rent, I mean, wow, that's, uh, that's something that's, that's you, people really gotta think about. Um, the second thing is that there are no short-term rentals allowed here, and if you wanted to rent to somebody, the minimum lease term is one year. Um, okay, so now you're not able to, you know, let's say that you use this as a summer home and you're not here year round, and you would like the opportunity to, you know, rent it out and make an income while you're not living here. You, you're not even allowed to do that because the park rules say that the minimum lease time is one year. So, okay, let's say that you find a renter and, you know, they fill out a lease. Well, then the next thing you have to do is take that lease to the park manager and then they have to look it over and actually approve um, the renter that would like to live here. So, you know, there are some pretty strict rules. Living in a community like this, the parking is very slim pickings. I mean, you're lucky if you can fit two cars on your driveway. Um, if you have guests come, you know, they can park on the street during the day, but I think there's a cutoff time, maybe by 8 p.m. at night, no cars are allowed to be parked on the street. And I guess that is a fire code law or something like that. Um, so yeah, parking is a little bit slim. But you know, just like with any place, there are always pluses and minuses. I mean, to live in Malibu, um, you know, and I guess this is considered the affordable part of Malibu, even at, you know, $2 million manufactured homes. This is the affordable part of Malibu. I mean, especially when you have beachfront homes directly on the beach that are going upwards of, you know, 30, 40 million dollars and more and lease at $100,000 per month and up. Um, so, you know, it is a nice place for people to come. Yeah, if they want to live here year round, this is, I guess, an affordable way to get into Malibu. Um, but, you know, 
You have to also think about those monthly fees, if that's a fixed cost that you can afford and just know that it's gonna go up every year. So, pluses and minuses. I wanted to show you two more properties where the pricing just blew me away. The last one is really shocking, but first, take a look at this gorgeous, brand new, stick-built, manufactured home. Well, a couple of years ago, an old 1969 trailer home sat on this lot with an asking price of $1,175,000. The two-bedroom, two-bath teardown ended up selling for $885,000. Now fast forward about two years, and now you have this ultra-modern beach home in its place, and it's worth probably three to four times what they originally paid for it. All right, and this last one here, get ready for this. Before this manufactured home was placed here, the vacant lot was for sale. It sold for a whopping $1.925 million. And let me clarify, the land didn't sell for this much, but rather a leasehold interest. Because remember, you don't own the land in this park, you lease the land and pay rent on it monthly. So the leasehold interest for this vacant lot sold for just under two million dollars and it looks like the owners placed a prefabricated manufactured home on this lot versus a stick built version now let me show you the other side of this home and the views that it has and here it is what's your opinion if you could afford this would you do it to have envious views and sunsets like this of the beaches of Malibu? Let me know in the comments below. And once again, thank you for hanging out with me today to watch another one of my videos. I hope you found it a nice diversion from my typical videos that I do in Nevada. If you liked the video and found it interesting, go ahead and hit the like button. And why don't you go ahead and even subscribe if you would like to be notified whenever I publish a new video. So thank you again for watching and I will see you again soon.